In this video, we're going to look at the partial quotients method for division. The first problem we're going to look at is a three-digit dividend divided by a one-digit divisor. So we're going to do 150 divided by 6. So I'm going to set my problem up with my dividend inside and my divisor on the outside. When we go through this process, we're going to use our knowledge of the powers of 10, which is what our number system is based on. So I know that I can do 6 times 10, and that equals 60. So I'm going to take that 10, and I'm going to stack it right over my dividend, lining up the place value. We could also have done it times 20, because we know that 6 times 20 is 120. We would have got there a little bit closer, but we're going to just stick with this 10 right now. So we're going to subtract the 60, and we have 0 minus 0 ones is 0 ones. I'm going to look at this. Instead of regrouping all that, because it's still going to be the same thing, 15 minus 6 is 9. So I now have 90. Now you want to look at do another power of 10 is 6 times 10, 60 because if we did 6 times 20, it would have been too great, too great of a number. So we move our 10, and we are going to stack it on top, lining up our place values again, and 10 times 6 equals 60. So we're going to subtract 90 from 60. Our 1s is 0, and our 10s, 9 minus 6 is 3. And now I know that I have a multiplication fact that I know 6 times 5 equals 30. So I'm going to use that for the next partial quotient. And so I'm going to take that 5 and stack it where it's lined up in the ones place. And I know that 6 times 5 is 30. So I'm going to subtract that out. And we end up with no remainder at all. So for our quotient, we add all these together, still keeping everything lined up. So we have 5 in the 1's place, and we have 2 in the 10's place. And it is still lined up over the 10's and the 1's in my actual dividend. There's not a remainder, so we don't have to put an R and a 0. We can just leave it just like this. Now let's look at a problem that has a 3-digit dividend and a 2-digit divisor. All right, so I'm going to set it up by putting 360 in my, which is my dividend, inside the box, and I'm going to put my divisor of 12 on the outside, and we're going to go through the very same process using our powers of 10. Well, I know that 12 times 10 is 120, so I'm going to take that 10 times that it works, and I'm going to put that partial quotient above my dividend, lining up my place value, and I just wrote that 12 times 10 was 120, so I'm going to subtract that. So in my ones place, I have 0. 6 tens minus 2 tens is 4 tens. 3 hundreds minus 100 is 2 hundreds. So I still have 240 that I'm going to try to put the 12 into. So now we're going to think about is 12 times 10 is going to give us 120. But could we do 12 times 20? So let's try. 12 times 20 gives us 240. And you see that 240 is the exact amount, so we need to take our 20, stack our partial on top of the 10, making sure we're using our place value alignment, and 12 times 20 is 240. We subtract 240, and that leaves us with zero. We do not have a remainder. And then we're going to go add our partial quotients, and when we add them, we have 30 because we have zero ones and three tens. We don't have a remainder, so we don't have to put R and zero like some of you um, might want to do. And when we did this problem, some of you might have seen that there was a, a faster way to do it. Instead of breaking it into 10 and 20, you could have said, well, I know that 12 times 3 is 36, so you could have got it done in just one chunk. So there are other ways to look at it. This is not the only way to break partial quotients apart. 